about to jump one of the biggest cliffs I've seen anyone done in snow kiting. There's a reason why people haven't done it before, so you gotta have some balls to do it. This is a nice cliff in front of the hotel, the Haugastol Hotel here. There's not much wind, so uh, there's not enough for snow kiting, but uh, I think for flying it's enough because as soon as you go down the hill you have some speed and you have enough pressure in your kite to be able to fly. Yeah, a little bit nervous because I don't know what the conditions are going to look like at the top. Uh, I think we're just going to have some fun today. Yeah, let's not talk about the lines now. <laughs> now you got to be pretty confident, but I just realized that these are not the lines I wanted to use. They're thinner. Uh -oh. It's actually pretty nerve-wracking, man. I'm up here, you can't see down, but you need to make sure you have enough speed and that the kite is flying properly. Uh, the worst thing that can happen is like some weird kind of wind, so you don't have enough pressure in your kite, and your kite falls, and then you slide down and you tumble down the cliff. <laughs> Ruben, can you hear me? Take the speed from the slope and don't move the kite. Copy that, I will try. <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't get enough speed on the takeoff, and then I jumped too early and not enough into the wind. Barely went right. Second attempt, let's do it. First you're super focused and concentrated, but then once you clear the cliff and you look around, you're just like, holy shit, what am I doing? And that was a great feeling, man, and uh, I'm addicted to the feeling of flying, so let's uh, aim for more.